Let's talk about Senator Obama. He's clearly upset at your speech at the Republican National Convention when you took on, quote, community organizer, uh, organizers. Do you think that uh, maybe being a little too rough on Senator Obama, uh, some of his critics think that was uh, over the line and too tough? Oh, I certainly didn't mean to hurt his feelings. <laughs> didn't mean to offend any community organizers either. I, I do have mm -hmm. respect for those who um, have chosen public service. And what I was doing, though, certainly, it, it should be obvious, was... Um, uh, directing a, a comment to him as he had taken a shot at small mayors across the nation. So it was payback. And, and uh, you know, small mayors, mayors of, of small towns, quote unquote, they, they're on the front lines. They're held accountable every single day that they are in office with uh, real responsibilities that do demand that accountability and invite accountability. Why do you think that some women's group, prominence with women's groups in America, have not supported you. You've even been attacked by some of them. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. That's their prerogative, though. Uh, again, this campaign is about uh, important, very important issues that are not uh, necessarily gender specific. And I believe that the ticket is the right ticket for America as we progress our agenda that's going to lift up all Americans. And uh, certainly I would love to have their support, but I'm not going to change my positions in order to get um, some of these groups and some in the media to try to, you know, try to woo them over I don't have time to, to do that. We're, we're moving forward on a, a ticket of reform. Let's talk about Senator Biden, uh, your counterpart. Mm -hmm. um, he's spent over 30 years in the Senate. He's been on the Foreign Relations Committee. Um, uh, one might even wonder if Barack Obama would want to debate him. Uh, that is going to be your task. How big of a challenge do you, do you view the upcoming debate with Senator Biden? Senator Biden has tremendous uh, amounts of experience. You know, I think he was first elected when I was like in second grade. He, he, he's been in there a long, long, long time. So he's got the experience. He probably has the sound bites. He has, he has the rhetoric. You know, he, he knows what's expected of him. He's a great debater also. And um, so, you know, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite a task in front of me. But again, the American people are concerned about the issues aforementioned already here. And the American people, they are wise and, and reading through a lot of the rhetoric and they want to know what a person's worldview is. They want to know what a person's agenda is. They also want to know what the examples are that they can judge where that person will be able to lead them. You said that in the last part of your interview with, uh, I noticed Charles Gibson, you said that you thought that uh, Senator Obama, he probably regrets it now in terms of not picking Senator Clinton. Why do you feel that way? I think Senator Clinton had shown a lot of determination and stick to itness in her campaigns, and, and I have to respect that. I, I don't have to agree with all that um, she uh, tried to push through and parts of her agenda. In fact, I don't agree with all of it. But um, there are some things that Hillary Clinton did that nobody can take away from her, and that is the 18 million cracks that she put there in that highest and hardest glass ceiling in America's political scene, she was able to affect that, and I respect that. Let me ask you this. Senator Obama had talked about people in Pennsylvania while he was in San Francisco as being bitter Americans, clinging to guns and clinging to religion. Do you think that was a put down of, of middle middle class people in the country? Well, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people, so mm -hmm. I, I think that we just have great respect for a candidate who, who would not speak about us, middle class Americans, in one part of the country and then turn around and say something different about middle class America in another part of the country. And, and let me go back to John McCain and, and that assurance that I can give Americans that the candidate whom I am running with, he is the same man no matter where he is, no matter who is listening. He is a man who is so proud of America and is very much in touch with middle class Americans and wants to be hired by Americans so that he can work for them and put government on their side.